Well, hello. Hi, it's Amanda here. Welcome to the Arts and Wellness Cafe. And so I'm in a different spot today. I'm in my, this is my front room. I was going to say front parlour, but um, it's the front room. Um, I guess uh, front parlour is so kind of, I don't know, um, 1960s, is it? Um, so welcome. The topic for today is... Um, hiding behind the busyness and um yeah so i want to really kind of address that so um welcome i'm glad i'm glad you could join me cole has decided to join me as well he's not used to seeing me in this part of the front room um recording anyway so uh welcome once again so hiding behind the business a couple of things happened this week and uh and i allowed one of them to affect me slightly to to get on my nerve um and i'll talk about that in a minute but um thank you for all of those who are joining me and um thank you to those who are returning so the initial topic of hiding behind the business is about you know what is it in your creative practice are you doing that you're or that you need to do um, and you're doing it to a certain extent but you're running away from it um, and you're finding so many other things to do that the very one thing that's a priority you're not you're not doing it so um for me that was i've got about a million stitch projects that i decided i wanted to do and then as my um fabric collection has grown i've got some storage you know organized bins and storage and then it was just like and now they have to be labeled and then my label machine stopped working i put a new cassette in but it's saying it hasn't got any cassettes so i was just like gosh i was just i thought i was on a roll and um i really wanted to get that part of it done and i allowed that i allowed it not working to make me think, oh, well, perhaps I need to do something else as opposed to, you know, just sticking through with what I needed to do. Anyway, in the end, what I did was I, I just hand wrote the labels that I needed and stuck them on and they actually look nice. I mean, I will print them when I get the chance, but I just thought to myself, you know, don't allow yourself to be sh distracted from the very thing that you said this morning that you need to do. So what the things I felt I needed to do for myself was to um, think about what my priorities are over this next month. So I've got two projects I'm excited to share with you. I won't be able to share them yet. One of them I had to remind myself, well, actually these things, so those two projects are imperative priority and then you know you've been sharing your work and um, I've got some lovely feedback and I wanted to do some digital downloads and I'd been uh, running away from it and so when I really looked at it I thought to myself you know you are engaged in being busy you know um, doing even more um, stitching techniques on these I've got some random pieces of cloth so what I do um, or what I started out doing with the stitch projects is that I would um, I would lay down fabric and get some the, the layout that I wanted and then I would pin them and then I would do sort of like three or four then I would stitch some then I'd go back and do some more layouts and then I'd stitch some more and then I'd go back and do some more layouts and stitch yeah so you busy yourself with so many things and you stray away from the very thing that you need to focus on so that you can move forward and it's one of the things today i said to myself right okay you need to just do what you need to do and um just get on with it 
basically. And so that's what led me to tidying up the bins because I was, I, I looked at the current stitch projects that I was working on and I've got others that are completed that I haven't yet shared. And it was just like, you need to put those down right now. I mean, I get it that you want to, you know, you want to keep your hand in and there are so many things that you're inspired to do but you need to look at the things that you have already stitched that need to be brought out and even though the artwork behind me you know this is um i had done this wall of artwork and just kind of laid out this area when we had the artist studio tours and i've just left it up <laughs> my husband was like oh so when's things gonna get back to normal and i'm just like this is the normal <laughs> you know so um until they uh wing their way into somebody's um i say front room or wall or space or has a gift or whatever they this is their this is their home um, I will show you, maybe I'll show you um, when we finish, but um, so think about that, think about what it is you are busying yourself doing when you should be focused on getting, you know, specific pieces of work done, when you should be completing things, organizing things and even if it just means scheduling so there's things that you need to schedule that you haven't yet done so i want you to think about those things and go and get them done make a list if you need to i've just bagged up a whole load of different lists that i've got and i was just saying to myself again you know focus on the immediate things the lists are fine you can order them um but your focus needs to be getting these other things out and established. So the second thing that happened was, um, it's only happened once before, and I got this uh, comment on one of my videos. And the woman said, um, <laughs> what did she say? Something about um, me not getting to the point and you talk too much. <laughs> so I was just like, what? <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I, I responded back because I thought to myself, why would you leave such a comment? Um, and, uh, and, and some may not feel that, you know, it's anything. Some may have had worse, but it's just that like I'm not used to people being rude in my space. And if they are, you know, it was just like, you, you don't have to talk to me like that. You know, if you want to be respected, you show respect as well. So I, I messaged back and I said, you know, something like, you know, um, I, I can't remember what I said, but basically, you know, um, I love sharing what I do. I share what I do and I, you know, I buy my own products, buy the products and I share what I do. So she was just like, oh, but you could have, so this is her response, oh, but you could have got to the point um, I was feeling really frustrated and um, I didn't even understand what you were saying and I was thinking um, but you never even asked me the question you never sort of like commented so this I had this dialogue in my head but you didn't you didn't ask me for help you know you've come onto my video it's about art journaling and what you want is something specific. So I said, look, again, I really love what I do, but if you have an issue with the product, you need to take it up with the um, uh, the manufacturers. It's just like, it's not my fault. Um, and I said, but, you know, and you don't have to be rude, you know. And <laughs> she came back saying, oh, this is, I, I said, yeah, I said, you don't have to be rude on people's videos. So, so she said, um, I, um, this is the first time I've been rude. And I was thinking, it should be the last time, you shouldn't be rude at, at all. And I thought he was gonna help me, but um, thanks for nothing. And I was just like, but still, I still don't know what it is you wanted. Because I said to her before, I said, well, you know, what is it that, what point was it that you wanted me to get to? And what was it that you needed help with? Um, and I was thinking, you know, why did you, why, why are you engaging? Um, but it's the person, the in within me, it's just like, I want to help, 
you know, I'm doing the videos because there may be somebody like me, um, the main focus of the video was about art journaling with these particular supplies and not using the, uh, you know, I've had experience of using certain pens and they stop working. And these pens, actually, because they've got acrylic in them, acrylic paints, but they're in a pen form, they actually, you know, they work quite well, you know, if you want to do um, writing or, you know, marks and things like that. So I was just like flummoxed. Well, I wasn't flummoxed, really. It was just like, why, why do you feel the need to be rude? You know, if you'd have just said to me, um, I ha I'm having... Uh, issues with my pens they're not working then I could have said to you they're probably dried up or whatever I felt it's like one of those things that they say that um, for every one um, for every one negative comment you it you have to you you need 150 to kind of combat the one negative and um, I was thinking to myself, well, why is it, why is it that you feel the need to, for people to like you? And it was then for me to address the, um, what was it about the comment that really got to me? And it was that I don't normally um, have those kind of comments. And the way that you have to turn it around was to think to yourself, well, okay, so somebody's made that comment. They could have just made it from, they, they're feeling bad about themselves so they want the world to feel the same way and they'll just go around trawling videos and leaving comments like that or what can you take what is there a nugget that you can take from it and i thought to myself maybe yes there is and you know at the start of a video you then say this is what you're going to learn so you know firsthand as soon as a video starts you know what you're going to be listening to and you don't get to the end and think oh well i thought i was going to be i thought they were going to tell me about um you know problems with the pen but they're just really gushing about the pen or whatever i mean because i was literally you know these are my top 31 supplies the ones that i use all the time um and up until up until her comment I mean, I have, I have got pens that haven't worked the same brand, but I think it's because I haven't used it for a long time. But, um, and, and that's what they happen and, you know, that's what happens. And, you know, variations in the weather, the conditions that you store them in can always, can all have an impact. And if you're not using it, then again, it's a, again, one of those things that you lose it. There are always gonna be people who say negative things about you it's a given um and especially when you put your stuff out there in the public eye you know there's always going to be the one body that or two or three um that are going to feel that they want to trash your day and um what i want you to be able to start thinking about is gaining the nuggets from turning things on their head think about what it is about that person's comment and think about how they must be hurting themselves. Think about how you can turn negative comments and diffuse it, because that's what you need to do. Because if you sit on it and you sit on the comment that they made, oh, you talk too much. Oh, you know, what, um, why didn't you just get to the point? You talk too much. It was just like, what was the point that you wanted? The point you wanted and the point that I was making were totally different. Um, so for me it was just like okay i need to let go of that oh you talk too much because i'm in in the business of talking um about my art and talking about creativity so i have to talk um and <laughs> i'm doing quite i do quite i do quite a lot of talking because that's by nature of the things that i do um, and we need to communicate and I'm communicating a lot about the things that I do. So again, turning something on its head, diffusing it so that you're not sitting with the comments, you're not sitting with, oh, you know, again with the critic. You know, you know how things can kind of escalate and it, it isn't necessarily that comment, it's all the other things that went before it or, you know, the way you may have been feeling about yourself or, you know, you just needed to give yourself some love 
and you know nurturing yourself and so if you're con consistently nurturing yourself then you can bypass a lot of these kind of episodes where somebody will make a really offhand comment um, without even thinking how it, it's going to be received and it devastates you for the whole day you just say right <laughs> what's the point I don't want to do it. I don't want to create anymore but um, the other thing is for those who like for this young lady or this lady I don't know whether she's young or old but um, you know you need to ask if you don't ask you won't receive so if you don't ask somebody the question that for the answer that you want it's for us as well you know if I don't ask for what I need so I needed nurturing so that I can bypass when the negative comments come and they will come throughout your lifetime I've already batted off you know many <laughs> growing up um, so you know so it's those two things ask for what you want ask the question you know if you've got if there's something that you need to know ask the question when um, negative comments come and they will come you know if you're in a place of balance then it will run off like a water off a duck's back but you still have to find the nuggets you still have to find well okay I wouldn't have put it like that but am I sharing enough what people need to know right off the bat so if you're gonna watch my video um, I need to tell you what's in the video and we know that you know those are things that as you're making videos you learn so maybe I need to be more clear as to what you're going to get from the video so there's two things already and then the first thing I started out with um, at the beginning is about creating busyness what is it that you need to prioritize in your work in your creative work that you're not doing you're running away from it and you're allowing yourself to be consumed with so many other things that right at this moment are not um are not impacting on the overall work that you're doing at some point they will but right now they're not i don't even think you've probably seen that piece of work behind me uh, or this one this is a batik piece that i've done um, and there are many on this wall that I haven't really shared, many of my sculptures. And so I want to get back into, I need to upload, share, show and shine. <laughs> but I'd love to hear which one of those kind of resonated with you. And um, thank you for my podcast listeners. I've got some new listeners um, and welcome to the podcast show. And... Um, yeah so think about those three things think about what are you making yourself busy doing when you should be prioritizing what is it what negative comments um how are you um avoiding them impacting on your life find the nuggets within them that may be there you know that may be there to help you and remember to ask you need to you can't expect people to know what it is you need so you need to ask and um, they don't have to say yes but then you go on to the next person and ask them and you know or to the next person and you'll get a result so thank you for watching thank you for listening and i will end it off with a little mini online virtual look at some of the work i've still got left on the wall i'll give you a peek of some of the pieces. Okay, so take care for now and I will see you soon.